Derek with another part of minute where we're throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers and getting listeners back again with another episode. This is your favorite first daily podcast. Uh, we're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, iHeartRadio, you name it. You know the places. It's been a long time, so we should know all the data. But if you're new here, thanks for coming. Thanks for trying us out. Uh, give us a listen. We are on daily 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we do new videos, uh, different features. We talk brew crew. That's the, the main part of that. That's what we're here for, to talk brewers. My name is Eric. This is the Miller Park Minute. Let's talk some brewers. Uh, if you want to support us, check down below. Miller Park Minute is the CE code. Uh, you can also go over to patreon.com slash Miller Park Minute, or you can join below on the YouTube link. All right, guys, let's talk about the game. Let's talk about some other good things. But first, before we talk about the game, what happened today? Garrett Mitchell came back. Uh, Garrett Mitchell has been gone all season long and made his triumphant return today. They DFA'd Anderson. Um uh, Sad because he was a big contributor in the beginning and then just oh, fell off, crashed it. So, that being said, we are now going into the postseason with our man Garrett Mitchell back. Uh, and Garrett Mitchell's that I, I've said it a million times, but he's that that five tool guy, he's that Brian Braun esque character, and I very much look forward to. Uh, seeing the long future that he has in the city of Milwaukee. Let's talk about the game, the good, the bad, and the downright of it. So this game was a um, one run at a time game. Um, Corbin Burns got the start. Corbin Burns only went four innings. They gave up five hits. Uh, really, they rolled Corbin Burns out so he could get his four strikeouts that he needed to. To make 200 strikeouts and that's that's what this was about so that being said he got his four julio tehran a uh, good looking out of the bullpen came in gave up one hit uh struck out four uh tehran has kind of held us together so let's give some credit and let's give an attaboy for that small did do an inning uh he walked two struck out one so good to see Ethan Small get some action. These are all, like I said, playoff tune-ups. That's all they are. Uh, what did our man Garrett Mitchell do today? Well, he walked twice and had one hit. So he's one for one. Uh, Turing, another offer. He slipped. He's out of a 219 batting average. Sad. Donaldson, one for two today. With a walk. The big man, Christian Yells, two for three. I don't think he's going to get that average up. He's not going to get that average up. It's sad. Because uh, it was my prediction. Uh, but, you know, and that's... That's where the cookie crumbles, I guess. Uh, bites, 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 bites today. We were fighting all over the board. Uh, still a victory, so a win's a win. Nothing downright ugly about a win. I always say that, and I'll continue to say that. There is nothing downright ugly in a win. All right, let's move all around to the news of the day. Um, Really, really, there's not a lot of movement in everything. We're eight games ahead of the Chi Town Cubs. Um, got over 90 wins. That's a big thing. Tenth time in franchise history that we have gotten over 90 wins. Let's talk about the scores here. So, Chicago. Got beat by the Braves today. That's the only game on our docket that really matters. Uh, Miami did not play. Diamondbacks did lose to the White Sox. Phillies did lose to the Pirates. So those are 
I don't know who I want to play at this juncture. I, I kind of think Miami, but the Cubs would be interesting just to beat them over the weekend and then to beat them three in a row. Uh, the other uh, interesting note is we are rolling out Ray tomorrow to be determined on Saturday and Hauser on Sunday. So we are not using our main guys. We are trying to save them for the postseason. This was the last. This was just kind of a feel-good outing at Corbin Burns tune-up, and they wanted him to get to 200 strikeouts, which he did. Freddie as well ahead of that. I don't think you're going to see Freddie over the weekend. I think Freddie would be a Saturday start. Actually, Freddie, technically, Woody would go tomorrow, and then Freddie would go Saturday. Uh, I think they're opting to protect those arms uh, with the playoff series in mind, obviously. That's important. I think it's very important that we protect our arms with the playoffs in mind. It says Brewers host Cubs a potential postseason preview. I think at this juncture, I think they're going to be out. Uh, they can't win their way out of a paper bag right now. I mean, they have just been atrocious. Uh, if you look at the Chicago Cubs last 10 games, it has been a nightmare city for Chicago. They are four and six in the last 10 and we are six and four. So um, trying to gain that division back, they have not done themselves any justice. Um, and they have not done themselves any justice in the wild card breakdown either. Remember, Miami owns the tiebreaker. So Miami currently is in. And the Cubs are on the outside looking in. We are going to do more breakdowns tomorrow. This is just a short, short, short video, short pod. Um, Get some more time in it. If you want to join the pod, you want to be on these conversations, have conversations about the postseason with me, message me, Twitter, Facebook. You know the deal. As always, guys, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. And we will see you in the next episode of the Bill Park Minute. Go Brew Crew.